chat. All right, listen, man. John John the Don just went on caffeine and gave uh, uh, his explanation about uh, or his thoughts about, you know, what happened with the bootlegging and Cola's response and what Tony Pony Bro hit him up and Polo hit him up. You are not going to believe this chat. All right. The, the way they have reacted to this bootleg stuff is a hundred times worse than the actual bootleg itself. It's a hundred times worse, chat. Let me explain. Tony Bro is literally out here telling people he had no knowledge of this. Cap! What do you mean? Caps! Pull up! No. You had no knowledge? And then get, get this. This is how we 100% know he's lying. You are okay. First of all, nothing goes down in that Discord without Tony Bro's knowledge. That thing streamed for hours. Okay, there's battle rappers in and out. All right, blah 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 blah. All right, Tony Bro's in that Discord twenty four seven. You're gonna tell me that Pol Cola just did this on his own and didn't know. But here's how we know you're a liar, Tony Bro. He told John John Polo didn't know either. Polo was in the Discord listening. Do you guys have no shame? Now you guys know they will. Tony Bro will lie to cover up anything. He will lie. He doesn't care. He has no shame. Once I catch someone lying like that, all right, then you know that they're full of it. That they'll lie about anything. They'll lie. He'll lie about Polo not knowing when we have evidence that he knew. When we have evidence that he knew. Why can't y'all just man up? Why Tony Bro? You don't want to feel. Oh, you want to. You don't want to uh, people to think that you. Oh, you condoned it. You want to have this high almighty stuck up snobby attitude uh, aura around you, like that you're better than that, and that you would never do something like this. Not Tony Bro. Not the sophisticated. Oh, stand up guy, Tony Bro. You're just as bad as the rest of us, Tony Bro. Maybe worse because you're a liar. You're a liar, and you guys got caught. All right, and y'all out here trying to do damage, co lying and lying and lying. And here's this. Uh, while, 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 uh, so, so John John's in the thing, you know, the stupid caffeine bubble chat. All right, he's like, well, I, we ain't rocking with Black Compass if you're gonna keep cola. All right, and then Polo and, and Black Compass, they're in the they're in the comment section of caffeine. Oh, you're bugging out, John John. You're doing too much. You're you're t you're telling John John he's doing too much. Are you serious? Look, I don't care if you guys get. I don't. I don't. I, don't, I could. I could. Give, I could care less if you guys got rid of Cola or not. I, I love the fact that he's on there because I can tie all the dumb, dumb stuff he does to you. All right, and then that just makes everything funner for me. All right, but you, you guys have the. Just how about you guys just shut up, stop lying. You already got caught in lie after lie after lie. And he said he told Polo, were you telling Cola he was doing too much while he was bootlegging our event? I and mean, you want to know how these dumb dumbs got caught? They were charging $10 to get into the Discord to watch. Somebody sent him $6, so that's all I got, bro. Cola sends him the $6 back, blocks him on Cash App, and kicks him out of the Discord. That's how they got caught. Because the guy said, oh, that's how you're going to do me? He told John John what, he, what they were doing. These guys are culture vultures. You know what they like to claim I am? They're culture vultures. Polo, Cola, and uh, Tony, bro. The other two, got no beef with them. Love those guys. Those three. They're the ones who are the mastermind of the actual media part. As you see, the other two, they're only on Drizzy and Posey. They're only on the, 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 uh, the, sh the radio show. They don't do nothing else. Nothing else. These guys, they have the bar guy show and then the interviews. They don't do, they don't do, they're not, they don't take, partake in none of that stuff. All right. These guys, they're the masterminds of everything that's going on over there. And now that we know that Tony Bro's a 100% liar, you know the guy who said I have disdain for black businesses? Damn, Tony Bro. How it all comes full circle. I've never been caught bootlegging. I've never been caught stealing from this culture. Now you have. Now you have. And you have the nerve to tweet out that I have disdain for black businesses. Why? Because I said YouTube drops give people visibility. Now now I want to know, what, 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 what's, what, what, what's your motive for, for fighting so hard against YouTube? And I'm really curious now. Beasley came out and said on 15 Minutes of Fame, you guys can go watch the interview. He talks to you all the time. Then you went on your show and said you don't talk to uh, league owners. I don't talk to league owners. You literally, so how many lies are we going to catch Tony Bro in now? I don't talk to league, this is what he said. I don't talk to league owners. Me? Talk to league owners? Never. I think he might have said it on Easy Show or on your show. He said it on one of the shows. You don't talk to league owners. Then Beasley comes out and says, I talk to Tony Bro all the time. He's one of the only people in media I talk to 
all the time. Is Beasley lying on you, Tony, bro? Hmm? Now that you're a confirmed 100% liar, all right, you've been playing this whole game this all the time. All right, enough of that. Stop a political, bro. Nobody wants to hear that. All right, go. You're, you're, you're in the mud just like the rest of us. All right, take the gloves off, Tony, bro. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's see how you really feel about people. Huh? Enough with the political stuff. Let's see how you really feel. All right, all right. Let it loose. Let it out. All right, you you you're playing this fake role, this fake political role. Oh, you're the stand-up dude. No, you're not. I've been listening to you. All right, since you were on Caps the show in 2016 till now. All right, you guys were the worst. All right, when it came to oh uh, disrespecting battle rappers and going off on this and that and the other, y'all was the same as Caps, if not worse, half the time. Sometimes Caps had to will you guys in. All right, but then you you started your little own show and you tried to be. All right. Oh, oh, respected media. All right. But you can't, you haven't turned a new leaf. All right. You are who you are. All right. So maybe you need to, you know, you need to get out of that. All right. And, and just live your truth, Tony, bro. Maybe you do. Stop lying. Stop capping. Stop being so political and tell people how you really feel. Tell John John how you really feel about him. All right. You don't care about him. You don't respect him. All right. Y'all was trying to hit a lick. You're always trying to hit a lick. Don't don't sit there for one second and think that you didn't know about it. You lied to you lied to him and said Polo didn't know about it when we 100% know he did. We 100% know Polo did, and you actually lied to John John's face and told him Polo didn't know about it. He wants to talk to you too. And then they told John John, uh, "Don't worry, Cola's not going to do a space on it. He's not going to do nothing. We're just going to apologize, and that's it." An hour later, Cola jumps on a space. And talks about how it's his content. He paid for it. He can do. He can do whatever he want with it. He's a hustler. All right. While he was panhandling on spaces even more, this is disgusting. Like, how many times are you guys gonna? You guys talk about me. All right. What do I do? What do I do compared to y'all? Y'all the ones. All right. That are always dragged in the news and, and your name getting out there and this that and the other for your actions, for your actions, and it's all been deserved. It's all been deserved. All right, so y'all are wilding out here, lying and lying and lying. I think it's time for Tony Bro to, to let it loose. Go ahead, Tony Bro. Uh, how you really feel about me? Huh? You, you, you like to tiptoe around it, huh? With the black disdain comments. Go ahead, tell, tell us how. I want to know how you really feel about me. We know you. We know how you really feel. All right, I'm the racist devil white boy. But you're Chaldean, DM me. I don't even know. Yeah, okay, that's, that's, that's just you trying to. Trying to be political. No, no, no. That's how you feel. Because you wouldn't have said that twerk comment you made to me three years ago if that's not how you felt. You wouldn't have made this comment you made to me the last couple months ago if that's not how you really felt. That's how you really feel. All right? This is your culture and this dumb dumb. He ain't going to come out here talking like he talking. All right? Without, sh without, without wiping his feet on the... All right? And understanding he a guest and all this nonsense you probably think. All right? We're not dumb, Tony, bro. We're not dumb, but the fact that y'all lied to John John like that, all right? Y'all, the cover-up's always worse than the crime. And y'all response to this and y'all little weird cover-up to this, even though there's proof that you did know about it, specifically Polo, and that nothing happens in that Discord without your knowledge, all right? And let me tell you something. If you had no knowledge of it and, and Cola did this without your knowledge, then why wouldn't you fire him? That's insane that he did this to your guys' name without your knowledge. That he just w did some craziness like this without your knowledge. All right? This isn't about the bootlegs. That that in alone is, is a minor thing. Y'all response to this is a hundred times worse. A hundred times worse. All right? So, I don't know what to tell these dudes. These dudes are insane. All right? But I'm glad that people are starting to finally see what's really going on here and who these guys really are. Who We know what you guys are. All right? You ain't no better than me. And that's been my whole point since then. Y'all ain't no better than me. But you try to act like you are. All right? That you're that you're this some kind of respected, weird media platform that, that only uplifts the culture. How do you uplift in a culture when you're when you're charging money for pay-per-views that you don't own, that you don't have the right to charge? When you buy that pay-per-view, that doesn't give you the right to charge. I own a bar, sir. All right? If I want to show a Mayweather, a boxing or a UFC fight, I don't pay the $75 they charge you at home, all right, because I'm going to charge at the door. You know how much they charge me to, to, to show that fight, Tony, bro? It, it depends on the capacity and the fight, between $1,500 to $2,500 
all right, for per per event. The Mayweather fights were close to $2,500 because they know I'm going to charge $25, $30 at the door. They go by capacity, all right? You don't, I can't buy the thing for $75 at my bar and then charge people $20 to get in and then make a, a, a crazy lick off that. That's not how this works. I hope John, 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 the real, the real solution here would have been to take these guys to court. All right, make an example out of them and then this would have, this would have all stopped. Cause you would have won, John, John. Take all their Patreon money, take all their little whatever goofy cash app money that they got, they, that they're getting that, that, that cola probably doesn't pay taxes on. Yeah, let's talk about that, huh? Uh, all these panhandling you're doing, you guys better watch yourself. All right, you know that's that. That could all that could all come crashing down on you too. That could all come crashing down on you too. Love you guys.